Hey, what's happening, folks? Text boy, now one here, and I'm back on the Xbox 360, checking out this Marquette King punter card. If you guys have not been following me on Twitter, I suggest you at the Texas Boy 91. But for the past couple of days, since Thursday, I had, or was it Wednesday? Since Wednesday, I have been on a Twitter rampage about Marquette King. And the story goes like this pretty much, they came out with these foundation cards on Wednesday. I was cool with them. I had no beef with them. The foundation cards are very dumb in my opinion because they're really not anything anybody can use at this stage of mud. And collecting your card for cards you can't sell, that's not really that good in my opinion. It's kind of dumb. But hey, Getting how you fit in. Anyway, Marquette King came out and said, Oh, snap, we got a black punter, which is very awesome because we've been clamoring for this guy to have a car for such a long time. They came out with this game, and I'm pretty sure he's on a Raiders roster at the preseason. They just not give him a car because I don't fault them. A lot of NFL players don't make the team, so they probably didn't. They didn't make him, they didn't make the guy from the Lions or another guy, I want to say, from the, the Tim Tebow. He was on the Patriots roster at the preseason, so they just didn't make it because they think he's going to make the team, but he made the team anyway, and I believe I saw this on Deadspin and Bleach Report. He is the only punter in the league, which is very funny, that runs a four foot, a four foot five, a four five forty, and at the same time can kick sixty yards down the field on a punt, which is very amazing. Something something you just don't see normally in NFL. It's kind of like the white cornerback, something you don't see every day. But anyway, I digress. Marquette King, ninety four overall punter, great kick power. Look at that, 98 kick power. Give me great kick accuracy. Nice card to have. And I usually don't like spending this amount of coin on cards. That just don't make sense to me. I have this, this, um, what's his name? I forgot his name already. Shane Leck. No, <laughs> I got Thomas Morstead. 97 kick power, 93 kick accuracy. What the hell? What? Okay. What happened there? What the? <laughs> okay. I'm so distracted right now. But anyway, I got this uh, Morstead, who's who's pretty good. He gets the job done. He's a nice punter, but he's slow. So I said, Marquette King, all right, you ran a 4-5-1, four, well, four, which is faster than both Cam Newton and Colin Kaepernick. All right, keep that in mind. His 40 time is faster than both Cam Newton and Colin Kaepernick. Base Cam Newton and base Colin Kaepernick have around the same speed. I want to say around 84 speed, if I'm right. I may be wrong about that, but 84 speed. I'm like, okay, so Marquette King's faster. 86 speed would be fine by me. 86 speed be cool for a punter. You want to know what they gave Marquette King? You want to know what they gave Marquette King as his speed rating. Go ahead and guess. Go ahead and guess. You guys already probably know it, but you guys, you guys, you guys probably already know what his speed is, but... They gave Marquette King, I'm still tripping about this glitch right now, but they gave Marquette King a 62 speed rating. Come on now, Madden. All right, do you guys even watch football? I feel like they just created a punter and didn't even look to see this guy like, go to go to Bleach Report, go to the NFL Network, or go anywhere to check out this guy's his, his play, because I'm pretty sure he did a fake punt a couple times for Raiders, and I just don't think it takes a genius to figure out a guy of his stature, used to play wide receiver in college, can run fast. And they gave him a 62 speed. And that prompted me to go on Twitter and start this campaign trying to get this guy 90 speed. He does not. <laughs> and 90 speed is kind of obnoxious. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of obnoxious. But you can't give somebody who runs a 4-5-1 a 62 speed rating. Because that leads me to believe that you guys don't know what you're doing down there in Orlando or wherever the studios are. Because guys obviously start watching football by giving a guy a 6-2 speed rating when he clearly is the fastest punter in the NFL, which is not saying much. Not all the punters are that quick. So I did a little bit of research. I was checking to see who's faster than Marquette King, and there are a lot of punters in this game who are faster. You have 4.8140 4 times Steve Weatherford with a 78 speed rating. Like, Are you kidding me? So hopefully they fix it. If not, if you guys want to participate in my little campaign, follow me on Twitter, tweet at EA Sports, hashtag 90 speed for king, 90 speed for king, we get this dude some speed, and we 90 speed for king, 90 speed for king, 90 speed for king, come on, 90 speed for king, alright, excuse me, excuse me, I kinda got a little bit carried away, I ended up plugging my headset <laughs> from my computer. All right, anyway, anyway, if you guys want to tweet at EA Sports and tell them to get this guy speed up to a 90, I'm cool with the 90, 86 would be ideal. And for those that are asking, why is it important for a punter to have 90 speed or mid-80 speed? It's not really important, in my opinion. It's all about the accuracy. You can't release a card and just not 
care about this guy's attributes. I know it's a video game. I know it's not realistic, but if you go with Peyton Manning, the guy's an accurate quarterback, and they came out with a 90 overall Peyton Manning or at the beginning of the, at the beginning of Mutt, and he had like a 90 or 90 speed. Like, no, no, that's not that's not how that works. It'd be very nice if Peyton Manning had 94 throw accuracy, 90 speed, but it's all about accuracy and them just blatantly not even trying to show. Like they don't even like. I know what they did, and I, I don't. I don't know why they did it. Like they, they. I think they purposely didn't give him a 90 speed because it's been very obvious. They gave a black punter 90 speed. Everybody been very, very mad about it. But just show, just show accuracy. Just make these guys a little bit more. Like just make them with their first cards actually. Just make them a little bit more accurate to their play style, especially guys that got no love this season. For example, with the, with the Barry Church. Barry Church, new 93 overall card. He led the Cowboys in tackles. He had like 100 and some tackles for the Cowboys. If his tackle rate was like 85, I would have been cool with that. Just make these guys a little bit more accurate to what their play style is suited for. Just don't make these guys randomly on a dartboard like, like I think they do. So, And for those that are saying punters with cheese don't do a lot of fake punts, a lot of fake all this stuff, I don't really think so. People don't even punt the ball in this game anyway. I really want the 90 speed just so I can not get beat on kickoff returns. Like, that'll be very nice. Imagine if Deshaun Jackson out there or Marquette King with 90 speed, he may not make the tackle, but he'll slow him down to the point where he might get caught from behind. So, it's a win-win for everybody involved. You get a nice punter with 98 kick power who can pretty much kick it deep into the end zone. Not out of the end zone, but kick it deep, man. Hopefully, catch those faster backs or half or wide receivers out of the from returning kick, so it'd be very, very nice for this guy to get 90 speed. I'll even take 86 speed. He pretty much, in my opinion, he has to be the fastest punter in mud. He has to be faster than Steve Weatherford, because there's no way in hell you can convince me that Steve Weatherford is faster than Marquette King. You can't even pay me to believe that. I'm not going to say it, because it's not even true. So, Madden needs to make this right, and they're probably not going to, but hey, 90 speed for King. Chant with me. Say it with me. It's, it rolls off the tongue so smoothly. 90 speed for King. 90 speed for king it, 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 it's so perfect but anyway folks that is the video i hope you guys will participate in my little campaign i know it may not be an important campaign especially when mutt has problems such as the comparison list of cornerbacks they got the pack glitch where you can't even you buy your packs don't even get your packs uh it got a lot of problems with this game but this one is my, is what i'm standing on i'm not i'm i'm not putting it with anything else anymore until they fix this what is wrong with me <laughs> what is wrong with me